Assalamualaikum, my name is Aini Maisarah and I will be presenting on the annual project analysis for KPG Healthcare Berhad. My presentation will consist of introduction, company profile, financial, uh, financial information, business zakat payment and conclusion. For introduction, zakat is the third pillar in Islam and it can be defined as a compulsory levy imposed on the Muslim so as to take the surplus money or wealth from the comparatively well-to-do members of the Muslim society and give it to the destitute and the needed. It has been mentioned numerous times in Al-Quran and hal hadith Every Muslim who fulfills the condition of zakat payer is obliged to pay uh, zakat. The conditions are made to be fulfilled so that both zakat payer and zakat recipient are treated with fairness. The conditions are Islam, free, complete ownership, haul, nisab and growth wealth. On most types of wealth, the zakat calculation is at the rate of 2.5%. For the recognition of zakat, According to Financial Accounting Standard 9, zakat will be recognized when the entity has a current zakat obligation as a result of zakat assessment and an outflow of resources embodying economic benefits that will be required to certify the zakat obligation. Penis Profile KPG stands for Kumpulan Perubatan Johor. They are Malaysia's leading provider of private healthcare services since its introduction of the first private specialist hospital in Johor in 1981. The group has been at the forefront of the healthcare industry. KPJ's competitive advantage lies in its extensive reach and presence in the highly competitive private uh, healthcare industry. With its hospital located in various parts of the nation, the group hospital are easily accessible and offer a diverse range of medical specialist services. Um, this, that is, this is the vision of KPJ Healthcare, that is to be the preferred healthcare provider and their mission is to deliver a quality healthcare services. Uh, KPJ headquarters is located in Jalan Tun Raza in Kuala Lumpur. The date of incorporation of KPJ Healthcare is on 18th August 1992 and the date of listing in Bursa Malaysia is 29th November 1994. The industry that they venture is, is in medical and pharmaceutical industry. The main activities of KPJ Healthcare are all related to medical activities and the operation of specialist hospital. This consists of all healthcare activities including private hospital, pathology, laboratory services and distribution of pharmaceutical, medical and consumer healthcare products. KPJ Healthcare provide new hospital development service either through sole ownership, partnership, joint ventures or lease model. They also provide senior and assist, assist, assisted living care where both short and long-term care for individuals who need support in their daily activities. Besides that, KPJ Healthcare provide education service through KPJ Healthcare University College which provide a wide range of medical and healthcare qualification. Lastly, they have been actively promoting health tourism to promote a preferred healthcare destination and boost KPJ brand regionally and internationally. Next is the Board of Director of KPJ Healthcare led by Datuk Yusli bin Muhammad Yusuf as the Chairman and Independent Non-Executive Director and 12 other Directors of KPJ Healthcare Berhad. This is the top 10 main shareholders of KPJ Healthcare Berhad with Juho Corporation hold the biggest share with 44.2%. Moving on to the next slide is the financial information of KPJ Healthcare Berhad from 2015 to 2019 and this will be explained by using graph analysis. So for the revenue versus profit or loss distribute to shareholder graph, it can be seen that the revenue increased steadily from 2015 to 2019. The profit distribution to shareholder decreased from 2015 to 2016, but the numbers come increased from 2016 to 2019. Next is the zakat contribution. Zakat contribution escalated from 2015 to 2016 and slightly increased from 2016 to 2018. However, in 2019, the amount had declined to 3,443,000. The up and down trend of net current asset reflected zakat contribution trend. The increase of net current asset from 2015 to 2016 also caused the zakat contribution to increase and the figure continued to increase. But the trend became downward again when the net current asset decreased from 2018 to 2019. The next graph is percentage of zakat from net current asset. The movement of trend in the graph shows a positive relationship between zakat contribution and net current asset or liabilities. 
When the net current asset increase, zakat contribution will increase and if net current liabilities are obtained, zakat contribution will decrease. The percentage zakat from profit before tax and zakat graph shows a downward trend even though there is an increase in the profit for each year. This shows a negative relationship between zakat contribution and profit before tax and zakat. The trend also reflected more on the increment of each year for zakat contribution. Moving on to the ratio analysis. Profitability ratio shows how efficiently a company is managing its revenue or profit derived. There is not so much difference between the ratio between 2015 until 2017. This means that the company is doing well. In 2018, when the ratio increased, it indicates the company performance is better. However, in 2019, the trend shows downward movement once again. The big downward trend might indicate that a lower profit was derived during 2019. Liquidity ratio is used to determine the ability of a company to pay its short-term obligation. From the graph, it can be seen that from 2015 to 2018, the profitability ratio increased steadily. From this, we can conclude that this company has no problem to pay back its short-term obligation and is able to pay it back. The ratio started to move downward in 2015-2019 to 1.5. This indicates that even though the total assets increase, the total liabilities are also incre increasing. In correlation to zakat contribution of the company from both ratios, we can conclude that this company is capable of paying zakat obligation. From the profitability ratio, despite the up and down trend, the company managed to earn profit during the five years which means the company is capable of fulfilling the zakat obligation. The liquidity ratio can also be the indicator as the company is able to pay its short-term obligation. That means that the company will also be able to pay the zakat contribution. Next is business zakat payment. As for KPJ Healthcare Berhad, as stated in the notes to the financial statement, the group and company recognize its obligation towards the payment of zakat on business income in the statement of profit or loss. Zakat expenses is derived from the net adjusted amount of zakat asset and liabilities used for or derived from business activities. There is no information on the calculation used and method of zakat. However, assuming KPJ Healthcare Berhad following the uh, standard, Calculation for zakat shall be at 2.5% on the zakat base at the net adjusted amount of zakat asset and liability used in the business. KPJ Healthcare Berhad has performed a few corporate social responsibility throughout its operation. As stated in the Sustainability Report 2019 of KPJ Healthcare Berhad, the company have targeted to spend about 5 million ringgit on the CSR activities and program. There are few CSR activities that KPJ Healthcare Berhad held throughout the years. They are firstly, KPJ Healthcare Berhad held a 5 km color run against cancer. Over 2,500 rainbow warriors of all ages participate in the event that took place at Taman Teluk Likas. Next, KPJ Healthcare Berhad also held an event to create awareness for kindergarten students about the importance of cleanliness to fight against hand, foot and mouth diseases. This event is held due to the rising case of HFMD during the time. Thirdly, KPJ Healthcare prepared a cataract checkup for residents in Ranau Sabah. 160 pairs of spectacles are given out for free for those who need it. Besides that, KPJ Healthcare University College students also held an event to help the homeless people in the capital city by providing them the basic needs and provide them medical treatment if needed. Lastly, KPJ Kuching Specialist Hospital held a blood donation drive-in collaboration with the Sarawak General Hospital to help create awareness among the public on the importance of donating blood to help those in need. For the conclusion, from the analysis of KPJ Healthcare Berhad annual reports, it can be concluded that the company has been fulfilling the obligation of zakat payment in accordance to standard as can be seen from the reporting financial statement. The company have recognized the zakat for the current period when the entity has a current zakat obligation as a result of a zakat assessment and an outflow of resources including economic benefit that is required to satisfy the zakat obligation. Nevertheless, the company has not been disclosing enough information regarding zakat calculation. The annual report does not disclose the method used in the determination of zakat base or any calculation used in arriving at the zakat amount. Zakat base is the net adjusted amount of zakat asset and liability used in the business and there are two methods that can be used either by using adjusted working capital method or adjusted growth method. There is no disclosure on which method that the company used. The company has also not been specifically mentioned on any activities conducted that mention on zakat contribution or the beneficiaries that benefits from the zakat payment. In conclusion, that the disclosure of zakat contribution in the annual report of KPJ Healthcare Berhad should be in provided in accordance to the guidelines laid out in the standard.
There are several ways that can be used to improve zakat payment among the public. The zakat collection centers plays a big role in encouraging people to pay zakat. For instance, the Majlis Agama Islam Wilayah Persekutuan or Mawib. There are some ways that Mawib can use to improve business zakat payment. Firstly, Mawib should help event or campaign to create awareness on the importance and obligation of paying zakat. During this event or campaign, Mawib can highlight the importance of helping the needs or asnaf and help to reduce the gap between the rich and the poor. Besides to create awareness, Mawib can also help to improve zakat payment by providing assistance to the business owners. Some business owners are not knowledgeable in the zakat payment areas. Well, with the help from zakat institution, business owners will be more aware of the importance of zakat payment. Besides uh, zakat institution, government also plays an important role in improving the zakat business zakat payment. Government can help to encourage business zakat by giving incentive to the business owners who make zakat contribution. The incentive could be in the form of higher tax reduction to the business who pay zakat. Those owners who desire high tax reduction will be encouraged to pay zakat. Um, this is all from for my presentation. Thank you very much.